Hello. Hello there. How are you doing? It'll help you get some really good sleep. How what would be the best way for me to get you out as quick as possible? Yeah. Peace, kisses. Maybe a story as well. Yeah. quick do you think you're gonna fall asleep? Yeah. And deep. Very short. Let me go through that one and let me know what you think. Maybe we can read another one after. Let's go through this first, okay? We'll see how you're feeling. Alright. Little Miss Amelia is in here as well. So if you hear any. It happened that the cat 
the fox in a forest and as she thought to herself he is clever and full of experience and much esteemed in the world She spoke to him in a friendly way. Good day, dear Mr. Fox. How are you? How is all with you? How are you getting on in these hard times? The fox, full of all kinds of arrogance, looked at the cat from head. For a long time, it did not know whether to give an answer or not. Hello. He said, Oh, you wretched beard cleaner, you piebald fool, you hungry mouse hunter, what can you be thinking of? Have you the cheek to ask how I'm getting on? What have you learned? How many arts do you understand? I understand but one. The cat replied modestly. What art is that? Asked the fox. When the hounds are following me, I can spring into a tree to save myself. Is that all? said the fox. I am a master of hundreds of arts. And have into the bargain a sack full You make me sorry for you. Come with me. I will teach you how people get away from the hounds. Just then came under with the four dogs. The cat sprang nimbly up into a tree and sat down on top of it, where the branches and the foliage quite concealed. Open your sack, Mr. Fox. Open your sack, cried the cat to him, but the dogs had already seized him and were holding fast to him. Ah, Mr. Fox, cried the cat, you with your hundreds of arts are left in the lurch. Had you been able to climb like me? You would have not lost your life. And that 
is the entire story of the cat and the fox. How are you feeling?
Shit.